Parte 4. La cosa se complica. Huh. I would expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now. Oh my goodness, look at the damage! I've got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Right. Yeah. See you soon. Watch the ship for me. Uh, bite anyone who tries to steal us. <laughs> You're fine. There aren't any scrap lumber dealers on Melee. No me lo puedo llevar arriba. Antes había un libro. En la cofa del barco. Mi libro de recetas ha sobrevivido a las llamas. Did you feel the earthquake? I was too busy running for my life. You saved the cookbook. Yes, I saved the cookbook. The ceiling was collapsing, the building was on fire, people running everywhere, and I saved the cookbook. Why? Excellent question. I can think of a hundred other things I'd rather have saved. My favorite 12-inch knife, my collection of rare spices, a painting of my father, the mop that I painstakingly crafted with my own hands. My cat. But in a crisis, you don't think. There isn't time. You just act. And by acting, you expose your inner self. Heroism and villainy are revealed in moments like these. Me? I saved the cookbook. You're welcome. <laughs> what are you drinking? Soda with a twist of avocado. It might be a little fizzy for your grog palate. Oh, sounds exotic. Not done with my drink. Pero me la he llevado, ¿no? Sí. Así que me la quedo con ella y el libro. Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. No, you can't take it. With my bar gone and no hope to repair it, this is all I have left. Pues no puedo recuperar el libro. How come you're still here? The bar is half collapsed and slightly on fire. Get lost. Y si me convierto, a ver. It's out of juice. No, aquí no funciona. No habían llegado antes que yo. Give up now, old man. The secret will be ours. I've been searching for the secret since before you were born. That's exactly my point. Finding the secret is a young pirate's game. of experience and me relentless drive will ensure the secret be mine. Only if you don't have a heart attack first. Ha! Last chance to give it up. Then we obliterate you. Get off my ocean! I'm impressed by your crosswind ramming technique. I'll have to add that to my book. My crew is quite skilled when given the right motivation. I am still worried about Threepwood. He shows up in the most unexpected ways. We don't have to worry about Threepwood anymore. I left him broken and near death at the bottom of a cliff. His eye was pussing up and bone was protruding from his leg. Animals have probably already scattered his limbs from one end of the island to the other. So it's agreed. We stop fighting each other and 
we join forces to find the secret. Agreed. No funny stuff. We split the secret. Teammates. Mentirosos. Todo es gratis. He's even better than half off. <laughs> sí. Out of business. Looks like the lights are still on, though. Am I too late? Was LeChuck here? Did Madison come? Did they get it? Where's the secret? Tiene que estar ahí. Yeah, I'll bet the secret of Monkey Island is in there. It just has to be. You've had it all this time. I possess little and much. To what are you referring? Don't play dumb with me, Karina. I have the map. The secret of Monkey Island is here. What is it you wish to know? Can't you read my mind? No need. I can read your face well enough. The secret is where you suspect it is. Inside the large safe near the front door. Where are the keys to the safe? I'd like to get it open as soon as possible. I am prevented from helping you with the keys. Uh, but there is one close by who knows much. How do I find him? Her. And she will find you. How do you know that? She is outside the shop. Why did you take the secret? Doesn't it belong on Monkey Island? I have taken nothing. The safe came to me as you see it and belongs to someone else. I accepted a fee and cast a spell upon it to prevent it being moved. That is all. Who owns the safe? Alas, there are forces which prevent me from revealing the true owner. A contract signed in blood with gruesome punishments for disclosure. Some kind of a voodoo thing? No. How could you keep this a secret from me? You knew I was looking for it. It is not a secret from you, Guybrush Threepwood. It is a secret. Full stop. I am bound by an agreement. Have LeChuck or Captain Madison been here? No. That's weird. They were way ahead of me. Sometimes it's better to have two enemies than one. But you should not waste time. I might have more questions for you later. I might have answers, but I make no promises. Vale, vemos que la caja tiene un montón de llaves. También recuerdo que al principio aparecía una mujer con la cabeza llena de llaves. ¿Serán esas las llaves? You found the secret. You are a spark among fallen leaves. Oh, I'm pretty excited. Hold on to that feeling. I am wider lean bones. Whitey. Like you, the hunt for the secret consumes me. Like you, I know where the secret lies, but lack the means to open the safe. You must have many questions. How do I open the safe? Five locks, five keys. Golden keys. Hidden long ago. What do the golden keys look like? They're gold. It's just paint, but they look nice. Where can I find the golden keys? Most are found already. Got one myself. Old Mrs. Smith had one before she died, and Bella Fisher, too. Also, I heard one was found on Bird. Muda. That's only four. One more was supposed to be hidden on Terror Island. That one has never been found. Hang on, I'm writing all this down on my to-do list. This doesn't sound so hard. A lot of people don't come back from Terror Island. Also, Bella Fisher sank out at sea and nobody knows where. Took her key with her. Oh. Can I borrow the key you have just to try it out? Not so fast, bright boy. Whitey Bones is not such an easy mark. You prove yourself. Get some skin in the game. Find me when you've got more keys than I do, and maybe 
Hot Talk Partnership. Bueno, esos solo son dos llaves. Why is the secret in the safe instead of on Monkey Island? Do you know? Secrets always been in the safe. Uh huh. How come I never heard about any of this before? I'm kind of a secret of Monkey Island buff. You'd think I'd know about it. The clues were buried deep and clever. Only a few ever puzzled them out, and we keep ourselves to ourselves. You seem more lucid than when you were hanging out of the window on High Street. We all got our good days and our bad ones. If you don't know already, then you'll see. This all seems needlessly complicated. Life is like that sometimes. Best just enjoy the ride. See you around, Whitey. I've got keys to track down. Okay, bright boy. But you watch your step. There is a curse. The keys are protected by a terrible curse. Beware. Whoa, a curse? Really? No. I mean, yes, she did say that, but she was just being dramatic. Whitey likes to make a big exit. Well, one thing's for sure. I don't know how to get to either of those islands she mentioned. I'd better get a good sea map right away. Un mapa. Pues venga, vamos a ver a Wally a ver si nos da el mapa que necesitamos. Hey Wally, have you got a sea map of the local area? Can you jot down the locations of Terror Island and Bermuda? No problem. I'll also add a few extras. The ship tracking feature is going to blow your mind. It's a little trick I know. You need to be able to go the extra mile if you want to make it in the big time, like me. Be careful. The last pirates I made a map to Terror Island for were never seen again. And Bermuda can chill you to the bone. Not many pirates want to head up there. Oh, and when you get to Scurvy Island, say hi to Elaine for me. Thanks, Wally. And sorry about blowing you up that one time. Hmm. Vale, a ver el mapa. Solo cuando vuelva al barco. Es diablo con la cerrajera. Me dirá algo. Uy, esto está abierto. Es una pescadería. Welcome to the Cod's Wallop. Thanks. We feature the freshest fish on the block and the freshest company as well. Whether you're here to buy or just pass the time, we don't mind. Though, of course, we do prefer it if you make a purchase. Didn't you guys used to be the pirate leaders? It's me, Gabber Streetwood. Ah, I thought when we spotted him skulking around town that he looked passing familiar. The shop seems nice. If by nice you mean a glorious cathedral to the fine art of fishing, mm. then I quite agree. Have a look around, why don't you? What are these blobby things? <gasps> Toadfish. Surprisingly, no relation to actual toads. How much for the goldfish? Sushi's a pet. She's not for sale. Yeah, I'll give her a sushi. <laughs> What's that flag with all the holes in it? Quite proud of that. We caught it up in a fishing net one day. Tis one of the signature flags of Bella Fisher herself. Hmm. Bella a ver. Fisher? That was Bella Fisher's flag? That's what I said, yes. ¿Y dónde la encontraron? ¿Dónde estaba? Se me ha actualizado algo aquí. El mapa ya lo tengo. Conseguir la bandera de la pescadería. Is the flag for sale? Bite your tongue. That's property of the chums. With the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. Can I join the chums? 
Well... I can tell a good story. Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, I was swallowed by a manatee. No one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. It'll be better. Okay. Take this fishing lure. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them. Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can. Then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. They have hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, loader, and lump sucker. I'd like to buy some fish. That's an excellent life decision, me lad. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. What'll it be? Never mind. Are the blowfish for sale? No, indeed. These are for personal use. They're excellent for burping contests. Care to join us? Don't mind if I do. Winner gets to keep the blowfish. A draw. Algo hay que hacer. Hay que hacer algo, alguna trampa o. I don't think so. No. Gross. Looks like day old avocado soup. No. I show this to other people who have them to start a storytelling session. Recuerdo, aquí la cerrajera tenía uno. Hi there. Hi. Aquí lo tiene. Voy a enseñarle el señuelo. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Did someone get married or killed or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay, one time. My ship was swallowed by a whale. And then we escaped through the digestive system, ship and all. I think you've got a lock on it. I can tell it's early in your training. Find some other members of the chums, and they'll help you hone your skills. Okay. Es que no sé para qué sirve esto al final. Voy a ir al bar. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time, my ship was swallowed by a whale. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. You know, what your story needs is a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a... Um, a beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Okay. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. Yeah, that's the way. Your story's not bad. But it's missing a few things. Find some other chums to help you fill in the gaps. I'll do that. Realmente da igual lo que elija. Aquí lo que importa es añadir, ir añadiéndole frases a la historia. I don't see a chum's lure anywhere. Ay, el vigía se ha ido. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. I think I'll fill up my coat pockets with this. Vale, me llevo la leña. Seems like it might come in handy somewhere, and I'm sure no one will miss it. No sé para qué. Stan's building. Ah, dust. This place looks like an earthquake hit it. Un retrato. There's a torn picture in here. This half shows Stan himself. I think they've captured Stan quite well, actually. They did a nice job with the coat. Y el cepillo de dientes también está aquí. This must be that old toothbrush Stan wanted. Y aquí qué hay? Una tarjeta de visita a otro del trivial. ¿Cuántas salamanquesas diferentes se puede ver? Fuera de la cabeza de mono. Puf. Ni idea. Vale, voy a ir al museo. A ver si hay algo distinto. Y esto ahora tiene dos loros. Two parrots. Security's been beefed up. Or, I should say, parroted up. Tell me about this flag. Oh, it's a super valuable artifact I recently acquired. One of Bella Fisher's original pirate flags. One of only three known to exist. Y esto está cerrado con llave. It's locked. No puedo hacer el truco de mirar la cerradura, ¿no? Tiny writing. New ah, sí. serial numberless lock. Sin número de serie. No, no va a funcionar entonces. Y lo de darle de comer galletitas tampoco sirve, ¿no? Y sí que sirve. Me lo voy a llevar. Se acabó. Se ha quedado sin bandera. O sea que son tres banderas. Sé dónde hay dos. Así que faltaría una. ¿Y esta gente? Wonder what they're waiting for. Hacer cola. Bueno, hacer cola. Ah, por eso el vigía no está, porque está aquí. What are you all waiting for? Earthquake relief. And you'd better not be looking to jump the line. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. Those who cut. Get cut. Hey! No me deja. Thanks, Carl. That seems... Good luck. Guybrush. Hi. I want to hear all about the secret, but I've got to go back to Scurvy Island right now. Let's talk later. Okay. Have you seen the line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. But there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. I'm basically yeah. handing out IOUs. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Can I get in on some of that sweet, sweet disaster relief? I already told you there's no money. I'm handing out IOUs. I'll take what I can get. Fine. It's not real money anyway. <laughs> I have to list a purpose, so what's it for? Para qué es? Para 
arreglar el astillero. We need to get the shipyard fixed up. If you say so. This is just a promise from the town to back your relief project at a later date. Don't get too excited. No sé si he acertado. Se lo puedo hacer otra vez. Me das más pagaré. Disaster relief IOUs. It's one to a customer. If you want, I can revise the IOU vale. I gave you to apply to a different project. But that's as far as I can go. Eh, never mind. Si encuentro algo que arreglar o algo que gastar el dinero, vendré aquí y que me cambie el pagaré por otro. I don't see a chum's lure anywhere. No, ella no es. Pero bueno, me he llevado un pagaré que no sé si es el correcto. Vale, puedo salir de la isla y puedo ir a donde? A Escorbuto y a Terror. You're right. It won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the safe. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Stop it. Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild boar by now. The map maker knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him anyway. I'm thinking maybe one of the large ones in the leg. Ah, Scurvy Island. This is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley Foundation's Scurvy Project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. Vale, ahora que Lechak está en, en la isla, está su barco. A ver, ¿dónde estamos? Mi barco. No, no está el barco de Lechak aquí. Ah, está aquí. Un barco a la deriva. Uh, hello. Anyone up there patrolling the deck? Ready to kick me into the sea? Sounds like the coast is clear. I hope. Unless it's a trap. You are a disgrace to the pirating profession. I'm more focused on the staying alive profession right now. Thanks. So far, so good. Vale, me tendré que disfrazar otra vez. I think it's out of juice. Ya no funciona, vale. Pero es que quiero hablar este. Este tiene. Dice aclarar las cosas con Cal Bob. Pero él tiene ahí un. Un señuelo, eh. So, um, obviously I'm actually Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. Again. I assume that's your real skin this time? Yeah. Sorry for tricking you with the other two. Two? Uh, one. Math's not my best mm -hmm. subject. Either way, don't worry about it. You're LeChuck's rival, not mine. I've got better things to worry about. Also, I enjoyed the book you brought me. Where is everybody? Flambe's up in the crow's nest. Odds are he's sleeping. Iron Rose said she was running an errand. The rest went with LeChuck on that other ship. Would that be Captain Madison's ship? I think that's right. Interesting. Uh, don't tell the Chuck I was here, okay? Hey, no, 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 don't worry. I wouldn't want to risk making him that angry. He gets a bit, um, scary. Remind me why Flambe still has a job? 
He doesn't do anything. He's handy to have around when we have to fix things below the waterline at night. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. Vale, le voy a dar el señuelo. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by a huge kraken. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. You know what? I think your story would really benefit from some colorful description. Like when I hook a fish. I don't just say I hooked a fish. I say there was a majestic fish, glistening like liquid silver, dashing through the waves, stretching my line out like the truth in a schoolboy's mouth. Oh, that does seem a little more gripping. Want to give it a try? Okay. I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by an immense kraken with 40 tentacles, like the writhing fingers of the sea itself grasping to haul us down. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. Dazzling. I can see you're developing your flight feathers. Keep talking to other chums and you'll really learn to soar. I'll do that. Falta más todavía. No creo que haya nada, nada nuevo ahora. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right. Ahora sí hay pimienta. Parece que lo han rellenado. It's Chef Putra's demon pepper, made from the hottest peppers you can get. Pues me lo llevo. Pues sí que había algo que recoger aquí. Caja vacía, no. Demon pepper box. Looks like Putra replenished her supplies. Y aquí no hay nada. Si voy al barco este que es. Ahoy! Ahoy! Permission to come aboard. Afraid we can't let you do that. Permission to come aboard, sir. This isn't a protocol issue. Although we do enjoy a good protocol. Are you going to let me talk? Apparently, that's what you enjoy doing. There's been a deadly scurvy outbreak on the ship. We're uh -huh. under strict quarantine. So we don't infect others with this deadly pathogen. <laughs> I don't think scurvy is contagious. Y esta gente tiene otra bandera. My cousin's uncle La tercera bandera. It's a scientific fact. No, don't try to snow us with your science quackery. If scurvy wasn't contagious, then only one person would have it. <laughs> Duh. Where'd you get that cool flag with all the holes? It looks familiar. We found it floating in the ocean. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags. She probably lost it when her ship went down. We're afraid to take it down and offend the scurvy gods. <sighs> there is no such thing as the scurvy gods. Well, then why is there scurvy? Answer me that! Can I have your flag? Did you not hear me? Scurvy! On board! Quarantine! Well, you could just toss it down to me. Best not to risk it. It's probably crawling with scurvy, trust me. Hi. Don't let the scurvy bite you. Scurvy bites? Oh, I knew this was bad. Vale, tenemos que ir a la isla Escorbuto, recoger las limas que Lane ha plantado y dárselas. Tenemos una playa, un faro, una roca enorme, campamento, plantación de limas, ahí es donde tenemos que ir. 
todo es plantación de lima. Vale, vamos a empezar por la playa. It says the Marley Foundation Scurvy Treatment and Prevention League, or STAPL, welcomes you to Scurvy Island, 1.5 miles to STAPL headquarters. Aquí nada. Y voy a la plantación. Wow, Elaine sure has been busy. I better talk to Elaine before I steal any limes from the foundation she's worked so hard to set up. Vale. Pues habrá que habrá que hablar con Elaine, pero primero voy a ir a, los, a algunos sitios al faro, a la playa. During driftwood mating season. That's where all the driftwood goes during. Ah, I love that place. It's like a hundred foot candy cane. ¿Y por qué no puedo ir? ¿Y a la roca? Tampoco. ¿Y al campamento? Sí, ¿no? Sí, menos mal. Elaine, are you decent? Hello. Unido de múltiples plazas. Esto lo han hecho los. Ah, cara limón lo ha hecho. To prove themselves. No, at least that's what they told me when they made me do it. Bueno, uno de los caníbales es lo que han hecho este ídolo. Hi, I'm working due west of camp and due north of Parrot Rock today. I pinched a yak with it once, and then I sort of accidentally pinched the staple remover. I had it for years before I remembered to give it back to Elaine. She was happy and mad at the same time. Mappy. Un momento, hey, este cuadro. This used to be a picture of both of us. What happened to the me part? Tenemos dos trozos de de un de un mismo de una misma foto y si lo uso uno con otro. No sé para qué será esto. Not everyone can list a steep that obviously means something to Elaine too. El hidro no me lo puedo llevar. A ver, ha dicho que estaba. Hi, I'm working due west of. Al oeste del campamento y al norte de la roca. Elaine and I debate about whether it looks like a parrot or a cockatoo. Hi. Hi. I got the note you left me. The what? It said where you were working today. Oh, that. I wasn't sure you were coming, but I'm glad you found me. What happened at the voodoo shop? Did you get the secret? There was a complication. Isn't there always? A big, heavy, rectangular complication with five keyholes and a secret inside. Well, that sounds daunting. What about Lechuk and Captain Madison? They weren't there, oddly enough. Well, be careful. How's your project going? The project has hit a snag. We have plenty of limes, as you can see, but people are refusing to take them. They say they don't like the taste and they don't believe they'll help with scurvy. As an elected official, I could have issued an edict, but as a private citizen, I have to convince people. I tried this flyer. Yeah, I've read part of this. I know. I, I know it's terribly dry, but the facts are there. Have you tried using a different font? Comic Sans, for example. Yes, but I need a small one to fit all the information on. What about adding bullet points? They could be little limes. People not liking limes is part of the problem, though. Good point. What if the text was centered instead of left justified? Somehow I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. I'm not sure what to tell you. It's basically a sales and marketing problem, and neither of us is an expert in either of those things. Uh, I see what you mean. I'll hang on to the flyer. Maybe I can find a sales and marketing expert to look at it. Okay. 
Tan. Vale, me puedo llevar unas limas. You can take a few. Well, like I said, I'm having trouble giving them away. Si le doy... A ver, si le doy esto a Elaine, ¿qué, qué me dirá? Hey, it's a picture of me and Stan. Y ya está, <ríe> no dice nada más. Vale, pues... Voy a ir al barco a la deriva a ver si directamente, que no creo, si directamente dándole las limas sirve, pero van a decirme que no. You should try limes. They help prevent scurvy. Where did you hear that? Is that more of your science mumbo jumbo? You need to leave before you catch scurvy. Lo sabía. Have a look at this flyer on limes. Uh, ascorbic acid deficiency, collagen synthesis, mucous membranes. Hey, that is a bunch of science nonsense. We won't have any of that around here. It's all a trick to track our plunder. As if you have any plunder. You should try limes. They help prevent scurvy. Where did you hear that? Is that more of your science Lo mismo. You need to leave before you catch scurvy. Pues necesito un experto en marketing. Para poder cambiar eh, la propaganda y que esta gente se lo crea. A ver, voy a ver a Stan. Hey, Guybrush. It's been reduced to rubble. No está. Otra vez está aquí Otis. Otis, Otis, Otis. What are we going to do with you? I didn't do anything this time. I was framed. Where's Stan? Did they let him go? No. Stan got sentenced to hard time. Did you know he was representing himself? I've heard that's unwise. They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. What did you do to get arrested this time? Nothing! I was just standing there minding my own business, applying for earthquake relief. Did you know you're only allowed to do that once? There is no justice. Vale, este lo puedo liberar como siempre. Most of this serial number has been rubbed off. Casi borrado. Con el cepillo? No. No podemos limpiarlo con el cepillo. Probar la pimienta. Chef Putra's demon pepper, made from the hottest peppers you can get. Tasting it is not a good idea. No. Lámpara rota. Possibly an improvement. Una tarjeta. Uf, estaba escondida, ¿eh? Un pollo fantasma con problemas digestivos se llama... Eh, ¿Piquita? Sí. Tendría que ir a buscar a Stan. Somehow I don't think he's doing fine. Te han llevado a Wally. What happened here? Wally's shop has been ransacked. This is all that's left of Wally's standard-sized maps, globe, odd-sized maps, and boxes of other maps. Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? I guess he's not here, and he's probably not okay. Who could have done this? I guess LeChuck, obviously.
Well, they left behind the solid gold compass rose. This was no standard plundering. Vale, me lo puedo llevar. No. A ver, la llave, no lo he intentado, pero la llave de... Este es del expositor, no tengo la otra llave. Quería usar la llave de la otra celda para abrir la que está al lado, por si era la misma, pero no, me parece que no. Y el callejón hay algo diferente. Pues solo me queda ir a, a la isla Terror. Don't get any funny ideas while I'm away from the ship. No problem. I'll pretend I'm one of the writers. Ah, ya, la isla Bermuda. Oh, ship. If if that's what you can call that. <laughs> Made it myself. It's a source of pride. This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Here, good look, mess. I have limes. See? North, <laughs> you'll have to fill out a customs declaration form. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Fill this out and be completely honest. Es muy largo. Voy a dejarlo vacío. All right, let's see how you've done. You forgot to check that you're carrying lives. I'll check that for you. Hmm, good answer. Good penmanship. Not checking that was smart. Okay. Order. You may proceed with full approval of the Bermuda Port Authority. Aquí dónde está están donde lo han y donde lo han puesto a, a no sé hacer algo no me acuerdo lo que dijeron a trabajo forzado o algo así dijeron pincha esta tiene una de las llaves este es el juzgado este no es el mismo que hemos visto antes. Order, order in the court. I am going to cite you for contempt of court for not asking permission to approach the bench. I humbly apologize. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. How do you plead? Innocent. Due to lack of evidence, all charges have been dropped. Order! Order in the court! Quiet on the gallery, or there will be arrests! What did Your Honor do wrong to get this appointment? No, no, no. Beat a Supreme Court justice in cribbage. <laughs> lo está enfadando para que lo mande al mismo sitio donde están, lo han, lo han llevado. Y para poder salvarlo. Your Honor, do you have to buy your own robes? <coughs> Or are they court appointed? Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! Your Honor, are you wearing pants under that robe? Please remember that you're under oath. Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! Did I mention I am searching for the secret of Monkey Island? Until it becomes a legal matter before the court, it is of no interest to me. Although, I do remember a case several years back where the secret was claimed to be a fraud and a scam to sell computer games. I believe that was settled out of court for a substantial sum. That is all. I'm going to do to make sure that Y ahí está la llave dorada. Now, there's someone I've got to meet. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. 
I have no business with the court, Your Honor. Court is adjourned! May I approach the bench, Your Honor? No, I don't mean approach the bench. I have no business with the court, Your Honor. Court is adjourned! Algo hay que hacer. Y el fuego. The wind must have blown out the fire. It's locked. Maybe I'll come back later. The bucket filled to the brim with rotten fish bones. La cantera, ahí es donde llevaron a Stan. Y el castillo de hielo. Ah, mira. Es un pez gordo. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right, but if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say I was jigging with a hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. Yeah, that's the way. You almost sound like a real angler. Not a half bad story. You know who you should talk to? Elaine Marley. She's kind of famous, but she's nice. She might see you. She just might. Thanks. Ella es un pez gordo también. Vale, quiero... Quizá haya un timbre. Hi. Quiero entrar ahí. chance I could get inside the quarry? Not many try to get in here. Just out. What's the purpose of your visit? <laughs> it's a social call. We do have a visitation policy, but it's quite strict. Who are you here to see? Stan. We do have a Stan. I'm a little surprised he'd have a visitor. Can you prove you know him? I can describe him. Loud jacket. Never ah, la his foto. Or his lips. That does sound like him. But I'm supposed to see some actual physical evidence. Just bring me something that shows you two have ever been in a room together. That way, I can tell my fa... Uh, my boss that I did my job. La foto. Necesito una foto de, de Gaibras. Y no tengo nada, ¿no? Elaine, espérate. Él, él ha hablado de Elaine antes, o sea que la conoce. Vale, espera. A lo mejor sí que haciendo esto funciona. Hey, that is prisoner Stan with the famous Governor Marley. I didn't know he was such a player. No, eso no vale. Tiene que ser una foto de Gaibras. 
Is there anything special about this stump? No. Why? Well, it was tagged, so I thought, you know, maybe there would be a great gag about a secret opening to a system of tunnels or something like that. Please, don't joke about tunnels next to the prison, sir. Do not approach the gate, please, sir. Roaring fire, melting ice, very hugly. Ahí está. Necesito esa llave. A ver qué tenemos aquí. It's slowly filling up with castle. This entire castle is made of ice. Thank goodness there's a fire. Ready to be freezing. Ah. These matches are specially formulated for freezing temperatures. Disclaimer, will not light underwater. Vale, tengo cerillas. Contar las cerillas. Ahí de sobra, dice. Tenemos aquí un libro morado. At the end of the plank. My only copy. Please don't touch it. I'm Guybrush Streetwood, Mighty Pirate. Grunt. Nice weather we're having. Urk. I see. Me dejarán pasar, sí. Your Majesty? <laughs> no need to be so formal. This is Bermuda. You're Guybrush Streetwood, aren't you? I'm Odina the Ninth. I know your wife. Elaine? You sound uncertain. How many wives have you got? <laughs> Just the one I'm aware of. What brings you north of the 19th parallel, Guybrush? Is that one of the golden keys on your head? Welded to my crown. That's correct. The crown of keys is a ceremonial artifact worn by the reigning queen of Bermuda. It was originally fashioned from the house keys of the citizens as a gesture of trust. And or submission? My predecessor as queen is the one who added the golden key. I think it gives a certain pizzazz. Naturally, you'll want to have that cleaned once in a while. It stays perfectly clean as long as I don't let greasy pirates put their paws all over it. You may touch the crown if and when you become queen, and not before. Become queen? Interesting. No había visto el loro congelado. Hypothetically, how exactly would a person become queen of Bermuda? You have to earn it, win it, wrest it from the iron grip of the previous queen. Most people can't manage that, of course. But by the traditions of Bermuda, all are welcome to try. To become queen, you must show your qualifications by defeating the current queen in three contests. The contests test your heartiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence. I have some of those things. We'll see. And no cheating. We'll see. Can you give me more details on the contests to become queen? The contest of heartiness is an eating contest. Raw fish. Call it sushi if it helps you sleep better. The contest of seriousness is one where you must keep a straight face. Whoever laughs first loses, which I never do. The contest of intelligence is an algebra test. 20 second time limit, best answer wins. And yes, I do always have the best answer. You sound like you're serious about this. 
Vale, no lo voy a intentar. Por ahora no lo voy a intentar. Vale, si volvemos al pueblo... Eh, y le pongo la leña. No, no funciona. Y tampoco funcionan las cerillas aquí. Ah, las cerillas sí. Y la otra antorcha. It's way too high to reach. Demasiado alta. The wind must have blown out the fire. Igniting this firewood in my pocket isn't the smartest <laughs> no. idea I've ever had. I should find somewhere to put it. Otro loro aquí congelado. Mínima, isla mínima. Stay back! I could see you! How did you find me? I just sailed up and here you were. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Are you alone? Do obnoxious talking skulls count? No. Then yes, I'm alone. I heard that. I'm Ned Filigree, accountant. I don't mean to be rude, it's just that I'm in hiding. Who is it you're afraid of? Well, have you heard of Stan S. Stanman? The name sounds familiar. Thank goodness they locked him away on Bermuda. He'll be chipping ice in the quarry for a long, long time. I can't help but be nervous, but actually, I guess I've got decades before I really have to worry about it. No, no. Va a estar un mes nada más. No. No décadas, como dice él, así que cuando se entere de que solo va a estar un mes en vez de décadas, a ver lo que dice. How come you're afraid of Stan? He's always struck me as pretty harmless, except economically. Sure, but you never can tell what someone like Stan will do. He's got no moral center. Like I said, I'm glad he's safely stuck in the Bermuda quarry for a good long time. You must be good at math. I'm a creative accountant. Math doesn't really enter into it. You any good? Don't judge me by where I live. I've just had a few setbacks. It's all I can afford right now, but it's temporary. I'm on a quest to recover the secret of Monkey Island. That's a good move. I've heard the secret is a one-of-a-kind intangible, which means you can assign it whatever value you want to. Also, since it's very old, you can claim a lot of depreciation. Wait, are you trying to tell me I'm gonna have to pay taxes on the secret? Not if you're smart about it. <laughs> I'm gonna explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. Explorar la isla. Me voy a ir muy lejos para explorar la isla. It's one of Bella Fisher's original pirate flags. Wait, what's this tiny writing on it? Replica, not to scale. No. It's una replica. O sea que todavía necesito tres banderas más. And here's. Si le doy la foto. I admit it. I know Stan. So what of it? You can't prove anything. Nice likeness of you. Well, where's the other half? No comment. Can I have the picture? No! That would be weird. Well, you said un poco raro, verdad? What a mighty fine looking chest you have there. What's in it? Everything I own. The fruits of a man's life. The yardstick by which I'll be measured when I'm gone. It's mainly paperwork. Well, aquí nada más. Aquí 
Me voy a centrar entonces en salvar a Stan. Pero claro, él no quiere irse porque cree que va a estar un mes. Bueno, no cree. Va a estar un mes, en teoría. Aquí no hay nada nuevo. Hi. Hi. What do you think of Stan Stanman as a marketing advisor? He's in jail, but maybe he can look at the pamphlet anyway? That guy could sell fleas to a dog and probably would. Just what we need, actually. Good idea. How come the picture of us on your desk was torn in half? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry you saw that. There was an incident with a seagull. It flew away with you into the lime groves. I looked, but I couldn't find you. I see. Love you. You too. Vale. Hemos visto la gaviota que está aquí. These groves go on forever. ¿Y qué hay detrás del pájaro? Pues la foto. ¿Es una foto de mí? No, no me deja. No me deja. ¿Qué puedo darle algo? No. Ay, no, no te vayas. Eh... Las limas. No. Echarle pimienta diabólica. Sí. Sazonar el pescado con pimienta diabólica. Esto está mal. Creo que esto es un fallo del juego. Vale, algo me dice... Algo me dice que lo que hay que hacer... Es ir a la pescadería, comprar pescado, sazonarlo con la pimienta diabólica y dárselo a la gaviota. Eso tiene más sentido. Hello. Eh, me gustaría comprar pescado. That's an excellent life decision, my lad. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. What'll it be? Mm, idea que mata, ¿no? Toadfish. Here's a box full. Should be plenty. You want me to run a tab for you? Sure. Thanks. Aquí sí. Sazonar el pescado con la pimienta diabólica Ahí sí tiene sentido Y ahora si se lo damos A la gaviota No es mejor por aquí Creo Find the mint groves. Me arde que salía toda pastilla. Ahora sí, ahora puedo. Bueno, mirar el retrato que es el mío. This is torn from a portrait of Elaine and me. Vale, ahora. Si quito a Elaine de aquí y me ha hallado a mí, ahora puedo demostrar que soy amigo de Stan. 
Y ya puedo entrar en la cárcel. What do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend stand together? We had it painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. All right, you can go in and see him, but no escapes. I wouldn't dream of it. You don't want to be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. Menos mal que la puerta está rota por ahí, si no le aplasta. Vale, vamos a visitar a Stan. You know Stan? Oh, he's in the back corner. En el fondo. ¿Qué es esto? Ah, es una persona, <ríe> ya decía yo. Todo blanco. Fuego congelado, aquí se congela hasta el fuego. Grilletes. Looks like they have room for one more prisoner. Hey Stan. Hey, ahí está. Nice to see you. What are you in for? Entre 5 y 15. Minutes or hours? You don't have the look of a man doing any more than that. Nope, you have the look of a man who's going places and who might want to decorate those places when he gets there. I want you to consider these two words. Ice Sculpture. Separately, they're exciting. Strength. Elegance. Stan. No, no, no. Thanks. Para, para. Wait too long. They're selling like hotcakes. How about I bust you out of here? Yeah, this place seems a little harsher than the jail on Melee. I might or might not know a competent locksmith who could take care of those shackles. Oh, no, son. I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only in for a month, after all. Got a copy of the judge's order right here. Un mes. Orden judicial. Se condena al acusado Stan S. Stanman, el sonriente, a realizar trabajos forzados en la cantera de hielo de Bermuda durante el plazo lamentablemente trivial de un mes. Yeah, I sure did get off light. Lucky for me, they never caught on to my pyramid scheme, or I'd probably be doing 10 years. Uh -huh. Tell me more about that pyramid scheme you mentioned. Honestly, I don't know why the law makes such a big deal about it. It's just creative money management. Easy if you know what to do with the figures. I've got this accountant, Ned Filigree. He's a genius with that stuff. If they ever saw his records... Well, let's just say the first thing I'm doing when I get out is go burn all that paperwork. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. Eh, vale, no están, no puedo. Ajá, eh, ampliar los números de, de serie. Bien, puedo hacer llaves. Pero primero necesito y este se puede hacer lo mismo. No need. They're already unlocked. Están abiertas ya. Primero necesito que no sea un mes, porque si mientras sea un mes lo que lo han condenado, no va a querer irse. Y nos acabo de hablar de una estafa piramidal. Y quien tiene pruebas es su contable, que lo acabamos de ver. Está en la isla, en la isla mínima. Y él cree que va a estar durante décadas. Are you sure you weren't followed? We're safe. No one is ever a hundred percent safe. Le damos la orden judicial que pone un mes. Is that a sail? Oh no. Oh wait, it's a seagull. I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah, what's this? Only a month? Oh no. Take 
Take these records! Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda! They'll know what to do with them! It's very yeah. damaging stuff. Stan will get ten years at a minimum. I'd take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh, goodness! Tenemos los documentos que prueban que Stan ha hecho una estafa piramidal. There is a lot of junk in here, but I think I see the evidence that will lock Stan up for a long, long time. Rebuscar en la cartera. I'm no expert, but this stuff looks as shady as an oak tree in a cave. This should be enough evidence to lock Stan up for a very long time. Looks like Ned had a valid accounting license on 26 islands, including the District of Columbia. Vale, vamos a ir al juez. Le entregamos los documentos y a ver lo que dice. Your Honor, I submit these highly prejudicial and incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that Ned Filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. Eh. I can swear like a sailor, if that helps. Order! Order in the court! Opposing counsel will refrain from vulgar language in this court. Counsel for the agreed Tiene que venir el propio the exhibit, but reserves the right to resubmit at a later date. Court is adjourned. Pues, tengo que ir a buscarlo. Weirdly, this Se ha ido. seems even smaller now that there's no one here. Pero me ha dejado la foto. ¿Qué será? Ahí está. ¿Para qué servirá esto? Vale, había otra opción que decía que podía. De decía que él era Ned. Que Gaibras era Ned. Vamos a probar otra vez. Your Honor, I resubmit these incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that Ned Filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. Puedo afirmar que soy Ned Filigree. I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. The court can establish vis-a-vis -vis customs documents that your name is actually Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> vale. Or I will clear the court. The court can only accept said documents when accompanied by a sworn affidavit of the person who is legally Ned Filigree. Court is adjourned. Vale, vale, vale. Tenemos aquí la licencia de Ned. Funciona. Sí, sí, vale, ya veo. Para eso está la foto. Si quito esta foto. Y acompaño la licencia con una foto de él a ver si se lo traga. Order, order in the court. The court has previously recognized Ned's depth of knowledge in accounting. Do not waste the court's time by submitting redundant evidence. No. Your Honor, I resubmit these incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. Ah, claro, no, no puede ser, es verdad. Eso no tiene sentido. The court requires that Ned Filigree swear claro. an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. Eso no tiene sentido. Counsel for the aggrieved withdraws the damning exhibit. Court is adjourned. Lo que tiene sentido, si me deja, es que ponga mi foto. Ahora sí, para demostrar que. Que Guybrush es net. This should clear up any issues about who I am. 
Do you hereby swear under oath and penalty of incarceration that you are net filigree and the documents you are submitting are true and legal? Ahora sí. I do. In light of this new evidence, I hereby sentence Stan to 10 years of hard labor in the ice quarry with no chance of parole. Please retain this legally binding documents for your records. Diez años. Durante un plazo largo y deleitosamente apropiado de diez años. Ahora Ned sí querrá escapar. Pero antes de eso... Necesito la llave. Así que necesito volver a Melee Island y fabricar la llave. Hi there. Hello. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Special extreme cold hardened version. They don't even make these shackles anymore. I guess you've had them a while? Oh, yeah, they've been in my family for generations. Ahora sí. Stanarino. Ahora le enseño la condena de 10 años y lo va a flipar. I have some disturbing news about your sentence. 10 years? Oh no, I get to a month standing on my head, but not 10 years. You gotta get me out of here. Consider it done. Vale, tenemos la llave. Ah, freedom. Now let's get out of here before they come by to refrost the shackles. There's a handy tunnel over there where Chisel Pete escaped a few days ago. I'd like to ask you for a favor in return. It has to do with limes and scurvy. I'm so glad you could come, Mr. Stanman. Always happy to help out a fellow entrepreneur in a non-competing industry. We'll start with branding. Lime is the residue in a bathtub. It's thin, it's unappealing. Saying it out loud sounds like whining. We need something with sizzle, with edge, like razor bombs or sour bombs or something. I see what you mean. Guybrush, you were once a young man with adrenaline issues. What do you think? Sublimes. Let's not get too clever, son. Remember the target market. Razor bombs it is. Your promo flyer has also got to go. Now let me just show you what I'm thinking. We want snake oil, crystal vibrations. The more miraculous and improbable it sounds, the better. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with lying. Then we won't put it into words. We'll use a picture. Pictures don't lie, they imply. Guybrush, if razor bombs could do anything in the world for you, what would you want it to be? Encontrar el secreto de Monkey Island, claro. The secret of Monkey Island. Guybrush. That's good, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a superpower. Super fuerza. Amazing strength. Good, yes. Muscles on your muscles. Now, lastly, we need a call to action. Get cold or go dark or take that. Those don't mean anything. Don't need to. It's just a short, punchy slogan that sounds like you're supposed to do something right now. Go more. Short, catchy, and meaningless. It's like you've done this before. This is your new flyer. Menos calvicie, menos Michelin, puede curar el escorbuto. Alucinantes. Show people this and they'll be begging for your product. Name your price, firstborn, anything. Actually, we'll be giving them away. This is a public health initiative. What? 
Well, now that's just crazy talk. You don't give away the prize bull just because people need bulls, if you follow me. I'm definitely sensing some bull here, if you follow me. Well, it's about time to close anyway. You can mail me my cut. I'm out of here. Don't follow me. Your cut? Now, wait just a minute. It's a very convincing piece of marketing. I'll just borrow this for a little while. Ya tenemos el folleto, el nuevo, el que convence a todo el mundo. Y ahora se lo llevaremos al barco con escorbuto. I have some exciting scurvy news for you. Read this. Razor bombs, the new amazing miracle fruit. Ah, regrows hair, removes belly fat. Oh, also cures scurvy. Fantastic! Have you got any of these miracle razor bombs? Sure thing. Right here. These little green guys. You're sure there's no science in them? Check the flyer. You won't find a whiff of science. We're saved! Go more and welcome aboard! Vale, ya tenemos la primera. Yo creía que sería la segunda. It's seen better days. Pero no es la primera porque la otra es falsa. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags, about Esta sí. by 15 and full of holes. Esta fue la que estaba en el museo. Vamos a ir al museo otra vez. Puesto otra. <laughs> Your pirate flag doesn't look quite right. Is it a replica? You have a good eye. You should curate a museum. The real one is too valuable to keep out here. Ah, vale. The está en el almacén. Theft. Y está cerrado. It's locked. Cerrado. Si utilizo el monóculo para abrir. There's tiny writing. New serial numberless lock. Sin número de serie. No sé que no puedo fabricar. Una llave. Antes, cuando me pillaron los loros, ella salió corriendo e intentó abrir esto, me parece. A ver. Ahí está, abre. I'd better fold this and put it in y la deja abierta. Ahora me puedo colar. Y esta es la verdadera, ¿no? I'm not sure what I'm waiting for now. Pero se dará cuenta, pero si sustituyo la bandera, la réplica por la de verdad. I'll just leave the replica flag in its place. Maybe he won't notice the real flag is missing. Ahora sí, ahora sí tengo dos banderas. Me falta They were all in on it, but Threepwood was the ringleader. First he's banging me and the other skulls around with a femur, forcing us to sing musical notes against our will. Then he's shouting nonsense like a drunk parrot, and he takes a bite out of a squid's arm. Right after that, that's when the earthquake started. Still, it could be a coincidence. You find a shark in your swimming pool, that's not a coincidence. Me falta la bandera que está en la pescadería. Hello. Esta bandera. I think I'll browse today's catch. Mm. You'll find none better. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. I presume you want to tell us a story, but I can also tell just by looking at you that you're not ready for the likes of us. You know who you should talk to? Your wife, Elaine. You must know she's been around ah. for years. 
Yes. Vale. Of course I knew that. Thanks. Pues me falta hablar con el Ace. Ah, es verdad, lleva, lleva ahí colgando un, un señuelo. Greetings, fellow chum. Guybrush, you've joined the chums. I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Um, sí, claro. Let's hear what you got. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point, and then all of a sudden. Our ship was attacked by an immense kraken with 40 tentacles, like the writhing fingers of the sea itself, grasping to haul us down. The creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like to have a kraken attacking your ship? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by an immense kraken with 40 tentacles, like the writhing fingers of the sea itself grasping to haul us down. It began to crack the ship apart like four drunken wedding guests fighting over the last oyster. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater, blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. The creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. I think you've got it. That was really good, sweetie. You should tell a story to the chum's leadership. Ahora sí. Wallet fish shop. Ahora sí. Volver a la pescadería, contarle la historia y se supone que me puedo llevar ya la última bandera. Hello. No. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. Hay que enseñarle el señuelo. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you mm. a story to share? And old Beaver was thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, hmm. our ship was attacked by an immense kraken with 40 tentacles, like the writhing fingers of the sea itself grasping to haul us down. It began to crack the ship apart like four drunken wedding guests fighting over the last oyster. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater, blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. The creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Mm. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. That's a fine story, but it doesn't sound like a tale told by an angler, truth be told. Eh? Por qué no? Se suponía. A no ser que tenga que elegir algo más correcto. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. Vamos a probar con otro. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden. Yo pensaba que podías elegir cualquiera. Our ship was attacked by an immense kraken with 40 tentacles, like the mm. writhing fingers of the sea itself grasping to haul us down. It began to crack the ship apart like four drunken wedding guests fighting over the last oyster. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater, blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. The 
creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. That's a fine story. Mm. But it doesn't sound like a no? tale told by an angler, truth be told. Es que no sé qué me falta entonces. Me falta alguien. Este me falta o ya lo hice, no me acuerdo. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? Vale, me parece que me falta este, me lo salté. Creía que ya había hablado con él. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a guggen called Flambe, and then all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by an immense kraken with 40 tentacles, like the writhing fingers of the sea itself grasping to haul us down. It began to crack the ship apart like four drunken wedding guests fighting over the last oyster. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater, blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. The creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap, of course, then we had to put out the fire. Yes, that one's a keeper. Pack it in your creel and take it to the fish shop on Mele. Es la misma que les acabo de contar. Él me, de, ya había hablado con él. Es que recordaba que ya había hablado con él. Y todos me dicen que ya puedo ir a contárselo, pero no. Me dicen que no. Hello. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow <gasps> chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. Bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, our ship was attacked by an immense kraken with 40 tentacles, like the writhing fingers of the sea itself grasping to haul us down. It began to crack the ship apart like four drunken wedding guests fighting over the last oyster. I lit the hull with Flambe's head so it would burn underwater blinding as the sun and furious as the sea. <gasps> the creature lit out like an old tar from a bar of soap. Of course, then we had to put out the fire. That was a whopper of a story. You've clearly learned ahora sí, no sé. there is to learn. No sé por qué ahora I dare you to be a chum grand master. Congratulations. Wow, thank you. That's a great honor. Ahora quiero, quiero la, la bandera. That would be within your rights as a well-respected chum of the highest order. <laughs> si no va a bajar nunca. Si, es verdad, en serio. Horas más tarde. Be sure to treat it nice. It doesn't need more holes than it's got already. Ya tengo las tres banderas, no? Sí. The holes of the three flags line up and show one exact location. I'll mark it with an X. Y ahí donde está una llave. A 
Watch out below. Eh, cuatro minutos, ¿por qué? Se supone que son ocho. I've already been diving for four oh, minutes. Ahí está. I gotta turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. Ahí tenemos un pez globo, vale, vale. Necesito el pez globo que está en la pescadería. Nos ha dado una pista ahí con el pez globo que se infla. Necesito el pez globo, pero para eso necesito ganar el concurso de eruptos. Ay, no, no, no. Vale, no me puedo bajar. ¿Te vas a bajar? Ahora. Ya intenté Gross. beber esto. Looks like day old avocado soup. A ver, este tío no me dijo. Closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. No, ¿dónde me lo dijo? Aquí, ¿qué bebes? Esto, gaseosa. Es fervescente, vale, esto. Not done with my drink. Esto es lo que me hace falta. That was refreshing. Ahora sí. Siempre hay que hacer trampas en un, en un juego. En los Monkey Islands siempre hay que hacer trampas. Hello. Eh, ¿Dónde está el concurso? Eh, concurso de eructos. Hey, how about a burping contest? Oh, always. Winner keeps the blowfish. That was an absolute ripper. I hereby declare you the winner. The blowfish is yours. Pensaba que iba a temblar todo del erupto. Pero no ha sido para tanto. Bueno, ya tenemos el pez globo. Soplar el pez globo. No, esto me va a servir para respirar. Are we lying in wait or just waiting? This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. Inhalar. My lungs are full of delicious air again. Ya tengo ocho minutos. Looks like I've tracked you down. Really far down, actually. Ooh, it's beautiful. Y ahí está la llave. It's shiny. Ya verás, la que va a liar. Se cargó el barco. Sí, enterito. It's not my fault. They shouldn't have stuck the key in there so hard. I'm not sure I've seen one too many angry ghosts. I better split. A ver, no hay nada por aquí. No.
Primera llave. Freeport, alive? How is that possible? Someone saw him talking to an old crone on Low Street. I confirmed it myself. I'm more concerned about the crone than Freeport. Who is she? Just some old bag of bones. Don't worry about her. I took care of her. Excellent. She did have a key on her. A big, fancy gold one. Do you want it? No, no. We don't need the keys. We have a better way. Just put it where Threefoot won't get it. Like where? I don't care! Use your imagination! Yes, Captain. Now, I have another task for you. You'll need to pick up a few things from our ship on the way. Usa la llave que le han robado a la vieja. Vale, una llave. Otra llave la tenía la cerrajera de Mele Island. Hi there. Hi. Hello again. Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an Old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did, mainly when she was older. Did your mother find any of those golden keys she was looking for? One. She left it to me in her well. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. When my mother died, her personal possessions went into probate with the court. When they came out of probate, I was still too devastated to claim them. As you can see from this letter the court sent, they and the key have been destroyed. Well, this is an unexpected wrinkle. What happened to your mother's golden key? As you can see from the letter I gave you, the court destroyed the key. Destruida. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Vale, tendré que llevar esto al juzgado. I submit these official-looking documents to the court, seeking a reprieve from destruction. Order! Order in the court! Upon review of said order, the court finds that due to procedural backlog, the listed items have not been destroyed. Except for the fancy box that Brad from accounting took. The legality of the aforementioned document having been presented is verified. Presenting pleadant may therefore take possession of said items. I ya está. No idea, Segunda llave. Said, but thanks for the key. Order! Order in the court! Outbursts of thanks will not be tolerated. Dote 5. La tercera llave. It has some sea slime, maybe, but still one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. It's one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. Vale, la siguiente la tiene la, tiene la, la reina. Y hay que vencerla en un, tres pruebas. Odina. Actually, let's be formal after all, shall we? Your Majesty. Yes. I challenge you to the contest of intelligence. Come with me. We've got to go downtown. Ah, mira, está abierto ya. See that triangle? There are three of them here in the building. One for each contest. When you want to formally issue a challenge, you ring the triangle. Dios mío. Another challenge. Welcome, Your Majesty and Mr. Threepwood, to the Contest of Intelligence. In front of each of you is an advanced algebra problem. 
You are to solve it as completely as you can, and remember to show your work. No peeking, no copying, no swapping papers, and no cheating whatsoever. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. Copiarse de la reina, a ver. No copying. Sin copiarse. I have copiarse no de ahí, no tiene ni idea. I don't have the slightest idea no tiene ni idea. algebra problem. Time stop. Ya terminó. I'll take your papers. Hmm. Hmm? No surprises here. Queen Odina has delivered a clear and correct answer with a step-by-step -step proof. Mr. Threepwood appears to have copied parts of several unrelated <laughs> equations from the blackboard. Queen Odina is the winner. Better luck next time. Vale, como siempre, siempre que hay un concurso hay que hacer trampas. Inteligencia. Este es otro concurso, el de comer pescado crudo. Contest of hardiness will feature slime head. Sí, ya no lo habían dicho, con el pescado crudo y el otro de qué era. Aquí se sale. Idea. Vale, vamos a por este. Estudiar álgebra. I guess this is algebra. I actually have no idea. No tiene ni idea. Sentir la corriente. Can feel all the warmth escaping up the chimney. It's an empty bucket. Cubo vacío. Vale, tengo la leña. Bien. Y puedo encenderla con las cerillas. ¿Dónde están las cerillas? Aquí. I could do this professionally. Ahora empieza a gotear esto. It's loud about every 15 seconds. Hace ruidos irritantes cada 15 segundos. It's loud about every 15 seconds. Like my uncle Ernie. Esto me va a servir para despistar a la reina. Y voy a poder copiarle su examen. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. A ver que caiga una gota. Ahí está, ahí va la gota. Eso es. Y ahora a cambiar el examen. Quería que se lo copiaría, pero no. Time's up. I'll take your papers. <laughs> Cambia el examen. Hmm. Hmm? I am most surprised by this, but the evidence is clear. Mr. Threeput is the winner. But how is that possible? Clean living, regular exercise, <laughs> and a brain like a mountain. Dense, motionless, and shaped by erosion. You can see the difficulty I'm having. I can. Better luck next time. Vale, una prueba hecha. One contest down, two to go. A ver, la de comida, la de comer pescado crudo. It must have blown away. What am I going to do? I can't get Stan back here after that argument. <sighs> If only I'd made copies right away. What was I thinking? Now I'm right back where I started. Uh, excuse me, are we interrupting? No, sorry. What can I do for you, gentlemen? We'd like to purchase some razor bombs. We're running low, and we want to prevent hair loss and trim excess belly fat. You... Wait a minute. Where did you hear that name? We read a flyer. We heard supplies were limited. The flyer! That's my mock-up. My one-of-a-kind, impossible-to-replace, project-saving flyer! Do you have it? Please tell me you have it. Ah, sorry. It, uh, fell into the sea. Fell into? <laughs> like it wasn't your fault. Well, it wasn't my fault. It was yours. Wait, I know. 
You could ask the nice blonde pirate for a flyer. Blonde pirate? But he's the one who gave it to us. Oh, he sails around in the weirdest looking little ship. Va a pillar un cabreo tremendo. A ver, vamos a empezar el concurso a ver cómo es. Ladies and gentlemen, although your appetite for this nauseating affair never ceases to amaze me, it is my solemn duty to adjudicate this, the contest of heartiness. As you are all thoroughly aware, the objective is to successfully and permanently consume more raw fish than your opponent. Today's challenge fish is slime head. Wait a moment. The bucket of plenty contains no plenty. There are no fish here whatsoever. And the contest cannot be held without fish. Everyone go home. Vale, ese es uno de los pescados que hay en la pescadería, así que vamos a ir a buscarlo. Ya veo. Eh, la trampa que hay que hacer aquí es la misma que con el pájaro. Un momento, el flyer se cayó al mar y aquí decía que en esta playa... That's where all the driftwood goes during driftwood mating season. Va toda la madera, madera a la deriva. Puede ser que el, el flyer haya flotado hasta aquí. No, parece que no. Vamos a la pescadería. Hello. Eh, puedo cambiar mis pescados por otro. Always happy to take a trade in. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater and lump sucker. What'll it be? Pesa reloj. Slimehead. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. Vale, ahora voy a colocar los peces reloj en el cubo. Ay, ah, todavía me queda a mí peces. Bien, bien, ya veo. Entonces, hacemos lo, el mismo truco que con la gaviota. <risa> están picantitos, ¿no? Pero me quedo con unos peces reloj que no están picantes. Así que yo me comeré los que no están picantes y allá se queda con los picantes. In the defender's chair, the cast iron stomach of Othina the Ninth, reigning Queen of Bermuda, and undisputed heartiness champion! <laughs> and in the challenger's chair, all the way from the Southern Caribbean, still in possession of nearly all of his original teeth, the newcomer, Guybrush Threepwood. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Usaré esto. <risa> And now, let the eating commence. Two bites. That's more than she ate, right? I can stop now? Uh, yes, you can stop if you like. Ladies and gentlemen, your new champion of hardiness with two bites to the Queen's one is Mr. Threepwood. 
dos pruebas. Falta una. Only one more contest to go. ¿De qué era? Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we present, for only the 11th time this week, the contest of serious. Ah, el de los chistes. <laughs> on this side, the reigning queen, Odina the Ninth of Bermuda. And on this side, the challenger, Guybrush Threepwood, currently unemployed and of no fixed address. If you will all come to order, the contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Have you heard the one about the guy who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. Is that the best you've got? What's the difference between a swabby and a mop? Heard it. You might as well give up. I have heard every joke there is in this world. Contestants? The time limit has been reached. As neither of you has laughed, the contest is a draw. See ya. Ya veo. A ver. Le regalamos a... ¿Cómo se llamaba? Bob. Se llamaba... Que está en el barco de Lechak. Le regalamos un libro de chistes. Ay, aquí no. I'll make this quick. Ay. I don't know when LeChuck's coming back. A ver si no lo devuelve. Cal Bob. Remind me why Flambe still has a job. He doesn't do anything. He's handy to have around when we have to fix things below the waterline at night. Are you finished with the joke book yet? Emotionally, yes. It's not that long and I've read it 16 times already. Can I have the joke book back? Then what am I supposed to read? You said you were finished. You've read it 16 times. It's boring reading it over and over, but it's better than nothing. No me lo va a devolver. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. Vale. Tendré que darle otro libro. De la biblioteca de Carla. Pero claro, antes tengo que devolverle el que me prestó. Que es este libro, el libro de cocina. Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. No, you can't take it! With my bar gone and no hope to repair it, this is all I have left! <laughs> no me lo va a dar. I hear patio dining is all the rage these days. You could think of this as a head start on renovations. Insurance would probably have helped. Tener un seguro habría ayudado. Eh, ¿Dónde está? El pagaré para reparar el astillero. Vale, ya me acuerdo. Una de las cosas... Una de las cosas que se podía hacer un pagaré era para reparar algo, ¿verdad? Vamos a hablar con Carla. Si me puedo cambiar el pagaré por otro. ¿Qué opciones me daba? Can I revise my disaster relief project? Fine. What is it this time? Reconstruir los comercios locales. Want to rebuild local businesses. I'm sure you'll have public support on that one. Here you go. It's an IOU for funds for rebuilding local businesses. Se puede, sí, se puede cambiar la cantidad del pagaré. Le añadiré un cero más al final. Y tirar otra vez. O otro cero más. I'll just add one more zero at the end. No, no creo que haya final. Si le doy el pagaré. What would you say if I told you the governor authorized funds for the rebuilding of the scum bar at an unspecified future date? She did? That's fantastic. 
I'll have a sunken area that catches grog spills for recycling and a medical triage room. Excuse me, lots to plan. Okay, if I take this cookbook back now? Sure, sure, of course. Ahora sí. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Thanks. It looks like you tried to cook the book instead of the recipe. Oh well, I should be thankful I'm getting it back at all. Next time you can just put it in the bookshelf yourself. ¿Y qué me llevo? Autobiografía al final de la plancha. Estrategia de combate. Este libro de cocina. Libro de mapas del tesoro, truco vudú, el relato interminable de la travesía sin fin. Él nos dijo que el libro era muy corto, el de chistes. Y este, al parecer, es un libro muy largo, así que vamos a... Vamos a darle este a ver lo que dice. Hey Bob, would you like to read this book? It's about a voyage that never ends. Sounds interesting and long. Here's your joke book back. Libro de chiste y con esto a ver si se ríe la reina. If you will all come to order, the contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. What do you call a pirate with 12 swords? Whatever he wants you to. Is that the best you've got? Vamos a el libro. Why do demons have horns on their heads? Because they're too uncomfortable under the arms. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Guybrush Threepwood. Where did you get that book? I'm uh, confiscating this. Citizens of Bermuda, Mr. Guybrush Threepwood has somehow successfully bested our beloved Queen Odina at all three of our traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. Can we transfer the crown first? I got things to do. There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned any vowing. Will you faithfully uphold the honor and dignity of Bermuda in your every thought and deed? Sure. And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? Of course. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda, sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? Or limbs. Don't forget the limbs. Okay, I guess I'm in. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your heartiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence? No problem. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new queen, Guybrush Threepwood. 
Congratulations. If you want my advice, I... Give me the crown already. I hope you like spending all your time doing the three challenges. Because that's basically what your job is now. I have to write my memoirs. <gasps> Um, as your queen, anarquía total. He decidido convertir el gobierno en un colectivo de trabajadores. To reshape the government as a worker-owned collective. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You get a key, and you get one, and you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. So, the Swabi says, the map or the bucket? <laughs> there are so many other things I could be doing right now. Why is that spell taking so long? Relax. Lila knows what she's doing. My mother always used to say, good pizza. Takes time. That's idiotic. Are you insulting me, army mama? Yes. Now this seems worthwhile. Vale, la tercera ya me faltan dos. Una es la que han robado y la otra. La llave de la de Wizzy. Pero esa es la que robaron, ¿no? Ah, en la isla del terror, claro, es que no he ido todavía. Es verdad. Pues venga, vamos allá. Ahí, hey, hey, una tarjeta del trivial ahí. La amiga de Chucky adora... Ni idea. Salió al principio del juego. Su tira china. Death waits for all who enter. I'd turn back if I were ye. That's encouraging. For a dead tree, it's a little too lively. No hay salida. Solo está el árbol inclinado. It's a little too lively. Y nada más. I'm sure I'm a more skilled survivalist and have nothing to worry about. I'll just keep telling myself that. Uh, this place gives me that lonely feeling. I'd rather keep moving along. Hay una llave plateada. One of the golden keys, but any key is a good key in my book. Gruta viscosa. It's like a slow crashing wave of spores. No puedo seguir. Claro, misterioso. I'm not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as... Ugh, looks like he had the wrong person watching his back. What really bothers me is, why do these pirates look familiar? Looks like another greedy pirate who met a sordid fate. Yeah, it's an old oil lamp with a little lamp fuel inside. Vale, puedo usar... Eh, sí, todavía tengo cerillas. Sí, funciona. It's lit. Looks like another greedy pirate who met a sordid fate. Yeah, this place gives me the creeps. Venda tortuosa. Un 
una verja. It's lost. It says X, Y, Z, Z, Y. I can't quite get it off of there. It's locked. La llave... Plateada... Y la cerradura... The lock must be under that sign. Vale, hay que quitar el cartel primero. Con la daga. Ahí estamos. Y ahora sí, ¿no? Ah, no me digas, otro... Otro laberinto. It says, warning, you are about to enter a maze of twisty passages, mostly very similar. Looks like someone forgot to pick up their trash. Ah, estos símbolos están en las paredes. Ah, me he quedado con el cartel al final. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Y vuelve al principio. Esta es la manera de salir de aquí. Si te pierdes o lo que sea. Otra nota. Vale, me va a decir un camino. Las marcas estas me dicen el camino, pero ¿en qué orden? Otra. Faltan dos más, entonces. Están colocadas así. Cuatro en las esquinas y uno en el centro. Otra más. Y falta esta. Aquí está. ¿Y ahora en qué camino? ¿Cuál es el orden que hay que seguir? A ver, este símbolo sí aparece. Y este otra vez. Creo que no. Este sí aparece, vale. Este ojo sí. Pues puede ser por aquí. Y por aquí. En este no sé si he entrado. Ah, mira, ahí está el símbolo que me faltaba. Pero estos dos, ninguno de esos dos está. Así que me da a mí que este es un... Sí, esos dos símbolos no están. Callejón sin salida. Quizá tenga que usar el letrero y empezar desde el principio. Y 
Vale, aquí hay dos símbolos. Creo que este y este están. Son estos dos. Y aquí dice la primavera brotó de golpe sabiendo que, es que eso no me dice nada. Pues nada, vamos a empezar por este. Vale, luego tenemos dos. Este, estos dos tenemos. Pone la última noche. Puede que sea el último símbolo cada amanecer. Vamos a probar con este. Pues no, puede que me haya equivocado. Ahí. Ahí. Ah, ahí estamos. The pit of agony lies ahead. That's el foso de la agonía. It looks really deep. Okay. Here goes. Oh no. The lamp is going out. I should have seen that coming. Water, fire. Claro, lógico. ¿Y ahora qué? I can only hold my breath for eight minutes. How am I going to get out of here? X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Es lo único que me queda por usar. That was a close one. I have to remember that fire doesn't burn underwater. El fuego que no arde bajo el agua, ya me acuerdo. Es el fuego de del vigía. Ya no lo han dicho dos o tres veces. El fuego del vigía no se apaga bajo el agua. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants me around. Así que tengo que volver otra vez al barco de Lechak, subir a la cofa del barco. Este, el fuego de este de plan B no se apaga bajo el agua. Ya tengo que volver a hacer lo del laberinto. Ah, no, mira, varios pasadizos sinuosos después hemos llegado al agua. It looks really deep. Okay. Here goes. Y ahora sí. I don't think I'll get too close. It probably tastes delicious. Looking at these ribs is making me hungry. Yeah, somebody forgot their bones. It says warning. It's a long way. Oh! Oh! Ay, esto es como Homer Simpson cuando se cayó por el acantilado. <laughs> Igual. <laughs> Herman. Oh. Lucky thing you landed on my bed. Herman Toothrot? I think so. It's been a while. I think I'll have a look around. I'll be here when you finish the grand tour. Did this used to be a lamp? It ran out of oil after I'd been here about three days, and then it got a little broken. I've been using it to catch rats. Puedo salir trepando? 
wouldn't climb that if I were you. The loud scorpions live up that way. Ever since they ate all the giant spiders. Of course, the spiders only came around to eat all the eelworms and megapedes. What did this used to be? That's the cover of a book I was reading. At the end of the plank. Hay varias copias de ese libro. Ahí está la llave. It's a golden key. What are all these scribbles? My neo-utilitarian manifesto. No, 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 no. no. That's a golden key. Maybe it's mine. You were hunting for the keys too. That's how you got stuck here. Is it? I suppose that would make sense. Let's make a deal for the key. I'm pretty sure I wanted it for a reason, but a decade or so in a dark cave can do funny things to your memory. So, get me out of here, and then I'll let you have the key. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? If you let me have the key, then I'll get you out of the cave. That sounds good. As long as it's escape first, key afterward. No lleva a ningún sitio. Me having the key is for the greater good. For the greater good of you, certainly. It needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be escape first, then key. Just give me the key already. Now! Ahora. Give me the key! Now! Oops. I'm eager to see how you're gonna get us out of here now. Tengo la llave. Así que ya puedo usar el letrero y largarme. Y como siempre, dejamos abandonado a Herman en cualquier sitio. Well, that wasn't so hard. What happened to Mr. Toothrot? When? Did you get him out of the cave? How'd you do it? That's not part of this story. Oh, okay. Pues tenemos cuatro llaves, falta la que robaron. It's getting hard to tell the flora from the fauna. Uh, there's no such thing as a man-eating mushroom, right? Whatever it is, I don't think it wants me around. Did I ask you to give the prisoner a drink of water? No, Captain. You did not. I was acting on my own initiative. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, sir. I need you to be a team player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. The secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that the secret is not really a team goal. It's been suggested that you think that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence, and do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain. This will be the last time I bring it up. Yes, it will be. Ahora tengo que saber dónde está la última llave, dónde están ellos.
No, aquí parece que no ha cambiado nada. Lo único que se me ocurre es ver qué pasa si pongo las llaves que tengo. Hello. Hmm. It's not like her to leave the place unlocked. Also, I smell brimstone and beard oil. LeChuck's been here, and that magical glow on the safe is new. I bet that's his work, unless it's Captain Lila. Vale, si usó una llave. No! What was that? Someone could be messing with the safe back on Melee. One of us should go check it out. I'll go. I'm itching for something constructive to do. I'm coming too. Someone needs to keep an eye on you. It's always nice to work as a team. Vale, me puedo llevar la llave. Quizás tenga que esperar en algún sitio y seguirlo. No me puedo esconder en ningún sitio. Vale, ya que me ha dicho que ha sido Rosa la que ha robado la llave, vamos otra vez al, al barco de Lechac a ver si vemos algo diferente. Es que no se me ocurre otra cosa. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. These open plan offices are all the rage now. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. Mira dónde está la llave. Vale, si le, eh, si le doy de comer. ¿Y dónde está la. la fregona? ¿Qué han hecho con la fregona? Ahí está la llave. This must be Whitey's stolen key. That's the last key. Voodoo shop, here I come. Ahora sí, ya tengo las cinco llaves. Threepwood has all the keys. That's right, Captain. Just recovered the last one. Prepare to set sail for Melee Island immediately. What about my spell? It's almost ready. I'm sure I'll find some use for it later. I'm afraid I can't say the same for you, however. Aw, you're betraying me? I'm the one who does that. But I do respect talent in other people. A ver, mientras estos se pelean... Voy a ir rápido a Melee Island y a abrir el cofre, a ver. Ya ve directamente.
y está vacío. No puede ser. Una caja dentro de una caja. Con otra llave. Okay. Hmm. I wasn't really thinking about the possibility of yet another lock. This seems like overkill. Well, there's no serial number. Maybe I can break it open. Seguro que la llave está en un sitio obvio. The key is probably somewhere obvious. Chuck, my old nemesis. Here we are again. Looks like this story ends the way it was always destined to end, with just you and me and the secret. Not quite. I don't suppose it'll do me any good to point out that you're cheating again? I've underestimated your resourcefulness, Threeport. But force always wins in the end. You should try it sometime. Good luck opening that. It's well made. I tried everything I could think of for a whole minute, and I didn't make a dent in it. Of course not. The secret can only be revealed in a ceremonial chamber located deep within the bowels of Monkey Island. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. It pleases me to have you live with the knowledge of how close you were to having this before I took it from you. So. I've decided not to kill you right this minute. Outside that door, the deal is off. Don't even think about following me. And count to a hundred before you leave the building. Yeah. A hundred. Guybrush! Whiteybone said she saw you come in. Are you all right? No. I mean, yes, I'm fine. Do you want to talk about it? The truck has the secret, and he's headed for the bowels of Monkey Island. The caverns underneath the big monkey head? There's no time to lose. Let's talk on the way.